Hello and welcome back to Collection Log Completionist, the series where I attempt to fill in a lot of slots in the collection log. In this video, we get some pretty nice additions to our log and make a good bit of money. I hope you all enjoy. Well, I actually felt motivated to do Vorkath somehow, so we came here and started doing some kills and look at what we got. The Dragon Bone Necklace, which is the most common item that I have left, but thank goodness we finally got it. Just getting something from Vorkath makes me so much more motivated to grind this boss. Yeah, I really did not expect to get that. I was just coming here to make a little bit of money while I'm uh, not really recording, because Vorkath's drops are so rare, I was like, you know, I'm probably not going to get anything. But of course we did, we got the Dragon Bone Necklace. It's actually my second one. I got one a long time ago before the collection log was out, so obviously it did not count in there. And now all we need from this boss are the ridiculously rare drops. We need the Skeletal Visage, one in 5,000, and then the Jar and Pet, which are both one in 3,000. But that's actually kind of motivating. We actually got something from Vorkath. It has been so long since I've seen anything from here. Okay, huge shout out to Daniel for contributing 2.7 million eyes of newt to the collection oh my lord that is a lot and a little update on what it's looking like that puts us at 165 million one day we'll be at a billion i believe also they added a drop to vorkath and every type of blue dragon in the game which is this little thing right here the scaly blue dragon hide i've gotten a couple of these since we started grinding they're actually quite common from vorkath i think one in ten basically you bring it to a bank and then you use a knife or whatever on it and then it turns it into 50 noted blue uh dragon scales that you use to make anti-fires and so this is really nice for iron men and for mains it's literally just a boost of gp per kill so like i'll take it i don't know how much it's going to sell for but we'll head to the ge in a little bit and check it out i imagine not for much because it's only 50 scales and also i assume the scale price will just be absolutely plummeting to the ground with this drop in the game you know while we're here we might as well do some combat tasks i have a couple left for vorkath the first one i'm going to try is do a whole vorkath kill without losing a prayer point i have a feeling it's going to take me a couple tries but i believe in myself let's do it was that a first try it was a first try faithless encounter that's six points that's a grand master first try can we please 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 pretend that I'm actually talented at this game for just five minutes. That'll make me feel a lot better. And we just passed over 1,800 kills at Vorkath, which is pretty nice. We're closing in on the big 2K, and I've been really wanting to get back into grinding this boss. We haven't done it in so long, but it's just such a nice boss to turn your brain off at, and it does have one of the coolest-looking pets in the game. So that's something I'm going to be setting my eyes on in the near future, probably. I'm probably just going to be chilling here at Vorkath whenever I don't really know what else to do, because money... Now we're going to go for the task called the Fremenic Way, which is Grandmaster. It's going to be a lot of points, and it's for killing Vorkath with only your fists. So no weapon is allowed to be equipped. I've never tried this. I haven't looked up a guide. I hope this goes well. I just brought some brews in replacement of some of my food and a super combat to restore my stats. I hope this works. I don't know how long this kill will be, but I'm excited to try this. Sounds fun. Okay, so hear me out. It's not what you think. I promise. It's really not what you think. All right. I know you're thinking he died an embarrassing death because he's bad at Vorkath. But what actually happened was I was five minutes into the kill, just kicking Vorkath the entire time, and my power went out, and it's been out for over five hours, and we're finally back in, and look at me, completely dead. If I was playing on the hardcore, I would have just lost status to my power going out. Yeah, shout out to my power company. So I just want to talk about this a little bit. I just hit my max hit, which is a 34, which sounds pretty good. It sounds like this should not be that hard, but look at Vorkath's health. He actually regenerates one hit point, like every, I don't know what it is, maybe every five seconds. And you hit a ton of zeros on here, so, uh, yeah, this is a long, long fight, man. I cannot wait to see exactly how long the fight is here at the end, and by that I mean if I make it to the end, because we've only got about 40% of his health down, and I've been here for over five minutes. But real quick, a massive thank you to the sponsor of today's video, HelloFresh. Let HelloFresh take the hassle out of mealtime this summer by delivering pre-portioned, fresh ingredients and easy-to-prepare recipes right to your door. You can skip all of the annoying lines at checkout and spend more time in this beautiful, warm weather. HelloFresh is not only a great time saver, though. It's actually just delicious. They have tons of quick and easy meals like their fast and fresh pineapple chicken tacos or their falafel power bowls that are ready in 15 minutes or less. And trust me, you don't need a lot of experience in the kitchen to make them. Also, since all of the ingredients are pre-portioned, you don't end up wasting any extra food, which is good for your wallet and the planet, since HelloFresh meals have a 31% lower carbon footprint than the same meals made from supermarket ingredients. Plus, nearly all of HelloFresh's packaging materials are curbside recyclable in most areas of the U.S. Now, something that you might not all know is that HelloFresh isn't just for dinner. They've actually got you covered for every mealtime occasion, from snacks to easy lunches and even festive gatherings. You really just can't go wrong with HelloFresh. They offer tons of meal preferences, including vegetarian, pescatarian, and much more to fit your lifestyle. You get to choose from their over 40 recipes 
recipes and over 100 seasonal and convenience items to choose from each week. So click the link in the description or go to HelloFresh.com and use code PAWGUIDES June 16 to get 16 free meals plus free shipping. Thank you so much to HelloFresh and to everybody who clicks the links in the description to help support the channel. Let's get back to things. Oh my gosh, I actually did it. What is this kill time? 14 minutes and 24 seconds. Oh my gosh, that is so stupid. That was long, dude. Almost a quarter of an hour just to kill this boss one time. Jeez, the rewards are not that good for having only four kills per hour this boss. They need to buff it or something. But seriously, that was a fun combat achievement. I don't know if I got really unlucky or if that's pretty standard for the task, but either way... That was a tough one, but it was really fun. Definitely worth the six combat achievement points. Oh, wow. I did not even notice this till the clan chat was congratulating me. Apparently a minute ago. I got I don't know how long ago it was. But we got a new personal best of Vorkath of 55 seconds, which is awesome, but also really unfortunate considering that the uh, master speed task is 54 seconds. Uh, I'm pretty sure I could just get this naturally while grinding out Vorkath, but I'm sure there's a method to do it even faster no not again 55 seconds again oh we we're just one second off twice in this forecast session so i mean i think that's a pretty good sign though i, th I think that means we're getting this next up let's do the extended encounter kill 10 vorkaths without leaving his area basically i think i'm just gonna bring brews instead of normal food i think i'll bring a couple normal food but also bring the brewers and maybe bring the blood fury. I mean, that might be useful in case we run out of brews. I don't think we will, but you really never know. God, I'm so bad at this game. It's not even funny. Six kills into the trip, and I mess up the Wooks walk because I'm not even looking at my screen because my brain is so distractible. And there we go. There's the 10 kill trip, right? Yep, extended encounter. And we got a spirit seed. I really do wonder. Oh, wow, we got another Dragon Ball necklace. Wait, what? What? <laughs> Dude, this game is so weird. This game is so weird. I don't I don't even know what else to say. This game is weird. Also, if you'll look, we only used one brew and then one extra dose of another brew. So really, I came a bit overprepared. Uh, just, just a little bit. You definitely don't need to bring that many supplies if you bring the Blood Fury. If you're using the Blood Fury, it genuinely heals you so much that once you get up to max health, you just switch back to the salve, and then once you get down to like 60 or so, switch back into the Blood Fury, and you should be pretty much fine. Also, seriously, I cannot believe we got another Dragon Bone Necklace on that kill. That's so stupid. Last task we need to do besides the uh, speedrun kill, which hopefully we'll just get eventually, is to hit Vorkath, I believe, 12 times during the acid phase without touching one of the acid pools. Only way to do that, I'm pretty sure, is with the blowpipe, and so we have to do the almighty mystical Wooks walk with the blowpipe, which uh, basically just has you stand, I believe, on this tile or this tile, something like that, and then you'll just run back and forth killing Vorkath. The real challenge is going to be getting lucky enough not to have an acid spawn, uh, go right where I'm going back and forth. So, we'll see if we can pull this off quick. There we go. The walk is done. Uh, you can see I have two seed boots in my inventory. That's definitely not because I died on my first attempt thinking that this line was where you wooks walk at. That did not happen. Don't. Just ignore that. And we just passed over 1,900 kill count at 4 Cath. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You're joking me. Another Dragon Bone Necklace? That's three! In the past, like, what, few hundred kills? We're at 1940 kill count. What? Why? <laughs> Wait, like, why is this happening? This really sucks, because I'm starting another bingo event tomorrow, and one of the tiles is to get a drop from Vorkath, so I, I probably should just be taking a break from Vorkath right now, but I really wanted to get to 2,000 kill count, and there's our third Dragon Ball Necklace of this Vorkath session, so, uh... Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, so I just looked at our loot tracker, and we've killed 180 Vorkath since I started this, and we've gotten three Dragon Bone Necklaces. I'll put a picture of that in, just so you can see how absolutely ridiculous that looks. No way, is this it? This is it! A 52 second kill! I knew it. I felt like that kill was super fast. Nice! So we got the 52 second Thank you, thank you to everyone. The Dragon Hunter Lance went absolutely in. My Dragon Claw specs were not even that good at the start of the kill, but the Lance was just absolutely shredding the boss. So if I am correct, and thank you all for teaching me that you can actually right-click this and click bosses, and then I can scroll down to Vorkath, and we will be able to see... It's, it's down here. I know my alphabet. 11 out of 11 of the tasks are completed. We never have to come back to this boss for combat tasks, but we do still need a lot of log slots. Here it is, 2,000 kills at Vorkath, and, uh, well, it looks like 
The only thing we've gotten is four Dragon Bone necklaces. I did get one before the log. I may have mentioned that. But yeah, I've been having a good time, except for like the five times I died. But we don't need to talk about that because they didn't happen. And the bingo event has started. So I'm going to be AFKing Dark Beast whenever I need some chill time since Dark Bow is on the board. Most of the time, though, we're going to be doing some high level PVM, as the kids call it these days, and trying to get some drops. So let's go. And now we're going to return to a place that I haven't been to in quite a while Tombs of a Masket. I'm going to start at just like 300 runs because I haven't done this in a while and I don't want to wipe every single time. It's going to kill my motivation again. And uh, maybe we're going to work our way up. I really want to get back to being able to do 400s consistently because the drop rate at 400 is just ridiculously high. Oh my gosh, yes. It has been so long since I've seen a purple from TOA. Oh my gosh, this makes me so happy, dude. Uh, I'm running a 355. I did red skull skip on every phase. I'm proud of that one. I think the last time I saw a purple was at expert kill kind of was like it was like 11 or something i think it's been over 100 expert modes since i have seen a purple i'm pretty sure it could be any purple at all to count for the bingo so it doesn't really matter what it is but of course i'd love a new log slot i've never gotten a piece of masori i obviously don't have the shadow and uh yeah come on baby a masori piece would be so awesome come on let me see it Oh, yes! We got the Masori Chaps. That's a new collection log slot. And 60 million gold in the bank. Oh, that's such a good feeling. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I'm so happy to see something new from TOA. And something that's actually worth something. If you look at my purple log, it is a little bit depressing. But that's okay. I'm just, I'm just so happy. This was actually all part of my master plan because I, is that, is that enough zeros? I think that's too many zeros. <laughs> this is all part of my master plan actually because I do need a lot of GP because I need to buy eclectic implings. Look at that, 59 million gold. That's so good. So, so good uh, because ranger boots are on the table and medium clues are actually really good for me even though I do already have the log completed. It's just that per hour mediums are one of the fastest ways to get master clues in the game. I believe it's slightly over one master clue per hour. Uh, by running medium so that's pretty good and now I'm gonna go all the way over here to corrupt gauntlet and try to get ourselves the armor seed tile because I'm feeling good I'm feeling like I can focus really hard right now and the armor seeds only like a 1 in 50 and as you can see I'm very unlucky on armor seeds only eight of them in 172 corrupt gauntlet I'm sure every iron man out there loves me they want to tell me how awesome I am and how they're not mad at all about this luck but we still do need the enhanced crystal weapon seed as well so oh yeah look at that master combat task perfect Corrupted Hun lift. It was pretty good. It was a pretty good run. And there was only a three minute Hun lift, so you know, that was pretty fast. And we are going to get the enhanced crystal weapon seed and be done with Gauntlet. No, never mind. But it was still, we got the combat task. So, real quick, a lot of people have been asking me to make a standalone video just going over everything I have and don't have in the collection log, talking about future plans, things I'd like to get, and so on and so forth. So, I have made that video. It's going to be accessible through a link in the description. It's unlisted, so you're not going to find it on my channel. So, if you want to check it out, just click the link in the description, and you'll get to hear me ramble about our favorite pixelated coloring book. Well, we got the Barrows top tile done. We all went to Barrows, and now we're all doing Zalra to try and get a Zalra unique, which I really like doing it this way because it obviously speeds it up a little bit it doesn't feel like just i'm grinding one thing and they're grinding one thing if we're all doing it at once it makes it feel like we can actually get it done pretty quick it's pretty fun oh my gosh look at that a 41 second zora kill my previous pb was 44 okay i mean that's 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 pretty fast that is pretty fast i last time i got that zora pb i was like ah, i don't think i'm beating this anytime soon and then I beat it, so I'm not going to say it this time. Maybe I can beat this one. We'll see. And look at this momentous occasion. 6,000 kills at Zolra. I, I can't believe I've killed this boss 6,000 times. That is a pretty ridiculous number. And as many of you know, I do not have the pet or the jar. And we are missing one of the mutagens, which, you know, is not uncommon at this kill count. But yeah, no pet or jar at 6,000 is a little bit strange, but I'll take it. Well, we're at almost 200 Zolra with nothing, so I'm going to change it up and do something new. Keep it fresh. You know, we're heading back to Demonic Gorillas because we need a Zenite Shard for the bingo. But I actually also still need that heavy frame. I don't remember what the drop rate is, but I think I'm about two times rate on this bad boy. So if we can get that, that'd be awesome for the collection log. If not, we'll get a Zenite, which is good for my wallet and the bingo. Oh boy, Ballista Spring right off the bat. You know I love the Ballista Spring. It's my favorite item to Alk. It's really good. It's like a 30k Alk. Wow, that's so good. No, not another dumb ballista piece the ballista limbs next when will my frame come out well now we're over 300 demonics in with no zenite unfortunately and of course only those two horrible ballista pieces but you got to keep trudging through especially because we were lucky enough to get an elite clue which i think is quite rare from the demonics i can't remember the exact rate but 
It was pretty rare. I'll take it. Also, there are so many bots at Demonic Gorillas that I've had to resort to hopping to the Australian 2200 total world, which is notoriously the laggiest world in all of OSRS. So it's it's pretty bad, but to be honest, it is manageable. And it's better than having to compete with like seven different accounts per world. Seriously, I hopped at least four worlds and every single one of them was full of accounts that just had names like 7255 Grape. 55 whatever stuff like that just numbers letters just random gibberish so i mean i can only assume they're bots unless any of you guys have account names like that let me know oh man another pair of ballista limbs uh and we also just crossed over 500 kc since we started grinding the demonics again no zenite no uh heavy frame no happiness at all pretty much and i'm feeling a bit burnt and demotivated so i think i might stop after this trip okay well since demonic gorillas is not working out i'm gonna be going for a bingo tile that's a little bit easier that's been haunting my poor teammates and that is the ring of endurance slash lock pick tile uh obviously hoping for the lock pick i mean ring of endurance would be great even though i already have the log slot for it it is a good amount of money man i can't even remember what is this mini game called hallowed sepulcher there we go yeah i'm actually almost two times the rate for the ring so this next run will bring me to exactly two times the rate maybe i'll get another one we'll see but i just need the lock pick which is not too rare so fingers crossed I forgot they made this an update but look we just got an elite clue scroll from the hallowed sepulcher that's pretty nice you could actually get every single tier of clue scroll depending on what floor uh, that you're on in the Hallowed Sepulchre, so this is a pretty decent way of getting clues passively if you happen to be training your agility. I mean, it's infinitely more clues than you'd get doing any other method. Well, we have not gotten a lockpick, unfortunately. This is our eighth run, and I think this means we're dry. According to my math, it's about one in seven and a half runs to get a lockpick if you loot the entire fourth and fifth floor, and then I've been looting the third floor sometimes. And look at that, no ring either. What an absolute scam of a game, but I'm going to keep at it because I have to. I have to do it. I can't let my team down. Oh, there we go. There's the strange old lockpick that we got. Boom. Scottamoosh. Take the screenshot. I'm so happy we got that. We only went a little bit dry. It wasn't too bad, actually. Okay, I think I just need to admit when I'm taking the L, I have done 259 Zoro, which means we're a little bit over two times the drop rate to see a unique from it. We have not gotten anything. It's just been nothing after nothing, so that's a little unfortunate. Plus, another team actually finished the entire bingo board in the time that I was sitting here trying to get literally just any drop to happen. So congrats to them. They are the spooniest spoons I've ever seen, and they deserve the prize money because, my God, that is actually incredible that they did it so fast. Uh, yeah, I don't think my team has any motivation to continue this in any serious capacity. Maybe I'll do a little bit here and there, but uh, we're just back to business as usual now. So I decided I would come try LMS out. It's been a long time wait got to do the proper thing show none public chat do it for your mental health friends uh, and i won my first game i don't know if it's because there's a bunch of bots or if i just got really lucky i mean i did have a vls at the end which was really good but hey we are now at 28 wins and the next cape we need i think is at 50 wins so i'm gonna try it out i'm gonna see if i want to get back into lms it felt pretty good that match but uh yeah just 22 more wins to go how hard could it be Okay, well that was my third win in a row at LMS. Holy smokes. I'm on an absolute, like, win streak right now. It's going super well. Look at that. We're at 30 wins now. Uh, I'm actually having a lot of fun. I quit playing LMS a while back because it was just bad. It made me super anxious, and I just wasn't really enjoying it at all, to be honest. And uh, so I cashed out all of my points. As you can see, I have a very few amount of points. But... I'm feeling pretty confident. I'm not getting anxious while playing this. I'm just having a good time, and I think that we should set our sights on one of these halos very soon. By the way, for those that are curious, here is my last man standing log. We have everything except for the halos, the Gothixian icon, the swift blade, and of course the wind capes, which are absolutely ridiculous to get. And as you can see, my win ratio is like 1 to 13 games played right now. I used to not be the best at LMS, but since I've been doing a bunch of bossing lately, I feel like my clicks are pretty decent. Dude, there is no way. There's an actual bot as the last person against me in this LMS game. You are kidding. Professor Six here. He made it all the way to the end. You know, let's get a round of applause for the bot. I'm very proud of him. Let's declaw him out to give him a noble death. What the heck just happened there, dude? And this is like my fifth win of the night or something. I am on an absolute roll. I'm feeling good. Little update here. We're up to 172 points and 40 wins. Only 10 more until we get that cape. 
Although I am starting to hit that brick wall with LMS where I'm just like, oh my god, it's so dreadful. Every time I get to second place and lose because I do something stupid, it really hurts my soul. But uh, there's a lot of nice people here. There's a couple toxic people. You'll have so much more fun if you just block every single person who does something toxic to you. Let me recommend that very highly. Here's another example of a toxic person you could just block. This dude got absolutely clapped by me. Let's be honest. I think I had about 15 pieces of food left. And uh, he says, 11k shitter and i was like what does that even mean so i looked him up on the leaderboards he has eleven thousand lms rank but uh he's a toxic little so ignore list and look at that you are victorious also shout out to this nice dude right here group man here he said love the vids appreciate that very much and thanks to him he didn't he didn't throw the match by the way i totally won legit i was incredible it was beautiful 50 wins at last man standing which means a new collection log slot the tier 3 cape has been achieved look at that let's throw it on check out the fashion and be able to flex uh this one doesn't look that great to be honest i i don't really like it that much maybe the tier 6 cape or whatever for a thousand wins will look better but we're about uh 14 years off from getting that by my estimations Oh, wow. Okay, I came back to Callisto uh, because I have a task, and we just got a Laren's Key, and we also just got another Clause of Callisto, only worth 465k. That's honestly pretty sad that it's only worth 400,000 gold. Uh, not surprising, as it's uh, not a very well-kept secret that there are an insane amount of bots here at the Wildy Bosses, so a little upsetting, but, you know, I already got a piece. That is insanely lucky to get a second one there. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. It's not a log slot, but it's even better, honestly. A long bone. The best drop in the game. Only true individuals that are cultured enough will understand just how precious this drop is. Do you know how much construction XP that's worth? It's pretty nuts. And there is 300 kill count at Calvarian. Uh, I got a skeleton's task, but I didn't bother recording it because, you know, that gets you like five kills here. But I don't know. I felt a little motivated to keep doing this boss. It is kind of fun. It's kind of a good one. It's kind of one of the best bosses they've ever made, maybe. I don't know. Okay, seriously. I, I do this joke a lot, but I really have no idea how I get so many long bones. I feel like I get a lot more long bones than the average player. Uh, maybe even a fair amount of curved bones and... I don't know. I'll take it, obviously. I have a great collection of them, but uh, it's just a little bit strange how many of these I really get. Oh boy, 87 spiders. That means we get to go hit up Spindle, which is such a fun little boss to do. 87 is a lot, though. That is going to take many, many an hours. And I did get a little something that I'm excited to share with you all. Are you ready to see what I bought? The most overpowered thing in the game, the Void Waker. If you don't know what this thing does, basically it is a special attack weapon. Look at this special attack, it's stupid. 50% summons a powerful bolt of lightning that deals guaranteed magic damage based on your max hit. Basically this thing can hit like 75s I think in max melee, probably with this gear that I'm rocking now with like a torture or whatever. It could probably hit high 60s or something like that and it's a 4 tick attack weapon and its stats are basically that of a whip so it's an insanely good melee weapon as well. This thing's just busted. It's stupid and hopefully I can get some anti PKs with it. And there's 400 kill count at the almighty spindle. We're over halfway to the drop rate of the weapon piece which is the only thing we need from this boss still besides the pet so if we could claim that It'd be pretty spicy. Well, I think it's time to take a break from the wildy bosses. Within one or two kills every single time, I'm getting attacked by the same guy, no matter what worlds I hop to. I don't know if he's, like, trying to follow me, if it's a coincidence, but, uh, I'm not having a good time. So let's open up the caskets we have. Hopefully that'll give me the boost of dopamine that I need to get through this rough day. Here we go. First, easy casket. Yeah, I mean, it's an easy casket. What do we expect? The mediums, best we can expect is a master or some ranger boots. No, nothing really, but the juice is here. Nine elite caskets. We're getting something great out of here. Yep, we got a loop half of key already on a high note right now. Wow. Elite clues are truly amazing, and there's our first master clue. All right, there's the master clue done. What do we got? Three, four more elites to open. Look, it must be my birthday. And back-to-back -back master clues. Oh, we got a little bucket helmet. That's really cute. Uh, okay, as long as this isn't a three-stepper, I'm having a good day. I'll be the first to admit that master clue was a little bit rough, but that's okay. We got three more elites left to go, and we got a mimic. That actually brings my spirits up quite a lot. I'm very excited to do this mimic. I want to try the Void Waker out on the Mimic. I'm sure it's not as good as Dragon Claws, just because Dragon Claws are Dragon Claws. But we're going to try out the Void Waker. Let's see how it goes against the Mimic. Here we go. First hit. Boom. That's pretty good. And then second hit. Also pretty good. We got it down to about half health. Now, I know the Claws can do more than that, but I mean, the Void Waker kind of just looks cooler, let's be honest. 
And there's our 25th kill at the Mimic. I don't know or remember exactly what the drop rate for the Third Age Ring is. I think it's like 1 in 42 here or something. So we're not really deserving of it. But, I mean, maybe? Oh, wow. We got a Rune Crossbow and 15 Raw Manta Rays. That, that is pretty cool. Last Elite Casket, and we get another Master Clue. Good lord, we're rolling in Master Clues today. Okay, we're done. We're done doing the Master Clues. Oh my gosh. See, those three Master Clues took so much out of me. I don't know what it's going to be like when I open a thousand hearts and I have to do like 60-something Masters. Whoo, baby. That's going to be a real fun day. Let's open these three Master Clues. I'm sure it'll be great. I'm sure that we will actually get a new Collection Log slot. Samurai Boots. Oh, wow. Okay, okay, I will take that. I don't remember if those are rare or anything. I don't think they're exceptionally rare, but hey, a new collection log slot. Double loop halves into the uh, extraordinary master clue. No one's ever seen one like that. It's so good. So yeah, we got a new collection log slot. What are we at in the master clue section? Is That's our 28th. We're almost at 30 out of 49. That is pretty monumental. And that was actually the last piece we needed for the samurai outfit. Very, very cool. After five hats, we finally finished. Now all we need is the Gloves of Darkness to finish this set. And then maybe one day we'll get a different God Sword ornament kit. One day. Uh, wee Woo, Wee Woo, Emergency Alert. I just got two bird nests from one birdhouse. See, I've gotten two in one run before. I've actually gotten three in one run before. But I think this might be the first time I've ever got two just from searching one birdhouse. Wow. That is... That is a blissful feeling I will never be able to replicate. And, well, that's a pretty good amount of collection log slots for one video. I'm quite proud of that. They were all pretty decent ones, too. So I think I'm going to end the video here. Thank you all so much for watching. And I have just been informed by the voices that for every like this video gets, the inevitable heat death of the universe will be delayed by one week. So thank you all so much for your contributions. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.